conclusion of the Gary Goff Show here on WTTF, Cool FM 93.3 and WTTF.com. And hello once again to our viewers on our YouTube channels. If you'd like more information on Tiffany University Athletics, go to www.gotiffindragons.com. If you'd like more information on Tiffany University, go to www.tiffin.edu. Spring football game is coming up on April 20th at 1 p.m. And Coach the the third annual alumni flag football game will be at 10 a.m. here at the uh, Heminger Center. And talk a little bit about how important it is to get these, uh, have these alumni come back and see all the good things you guys well, are doing. Well, it's, it's very important. You know, we had a, a good turnout last year, and they walked through this building, and we were amazed. Mm -hmm. You know, and they told me the old stories about, hey, we used to dress at a garage over there. And Walk milk, the bridge. Yeah, you know, and, and, a, and a milk crate was our locker. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, so we had a good time telling stories and then walking miles in snow with no shoes and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's, it's good for those guys to get back and, and see what's going on, check out our new facilities, check out our team, and, you know, just get them involved, you know. Absolutely. And, you know, so what we're going to do is, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, grow this event. You know, I, th I think last year we had, you know, close to 30, 40 guys turn out for the, the event. Hopefully it's bigger this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the flag football game, we're going to do inside. That way the elements on the outside, you know, yep, this Ohio yep, weather yep, yep. we don't have to deal with. Then we're gonna have an alumni tent at the spring football game over at the stadium. And in the tent, we're gonna serve them lunch. Uh, they're gonna be on the sideline with us and, and kind of just walk around and see what's going on. And uh, hey, we might even let them call a few plays if they want. Hey, hey all right. <laughs> and then the uh, spring game itself kicks off at one o'clock down at Frost Cow Now Stadium. That's always gonna be a, uh, it's always a real good time. Uh, how will you be uh, structuring it this year? Like a normal game, or will it be so so many plays offense against defense? To be honest with you, we really hadn't talked not about sure it yet. yet. Yeah, we're not, we're not sure. Um, as long as we get through this week healthy, you know, we might be able to split teams up and have a draft. That's always a lot of fun. Um, but at the same time, with uh, new quarterbacks, you know, and them competing for the job, it might be a better idea to just go offense defense and put those quarterbacks in different situations. Sure. And what I mean by that is have one of them go with the first team, one of them go with the second team, one go with the third team, and then mix it up mm -hmm. and see you know, that way all three quarterbacks have a fair shot of going with the first team. Yeah, absolutely. You know that way we get a good uh, a good look at them and um, you know it's evenly matched there. But to tell you to tell you the truth, we haven't really discussed it too much yet. So. But, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, after that spring game, we're, we're actually going to have a kind of a neat event at the spring game. Oh, tell me more. Um, you know, the, the campus and our players and all, I don't know if you saw online the big Harlem Shake deal that everybody's been yes, doing for. Yes, yes. Well, the guys wanted to do it, and I was like, I don't know. Yeah, we got oh, middle no. spring practice. Well, what we're going to do is um, every student that comes to the game with a costume or, or a prop or whatever you want to call it, towards the end of the spring game, we're going to have – an official or maybe the dragon dragon shake. mosey out onto the field and start the Harlem shake and then, right. then we're going to break into where everybody in the stands are on the field with the players doing the Harlem shake all right well i come down on the press box and there you go there and i'll run right bring down. your mic I will. I'll, your I'll bring mic. a wireless setup and i'll come down there and we'll do it right from there well that's pretty cool well, it's, but, that's neat because it's not only you know it's fun for the kids which yeah. well, the kid doesn't like to have fun but you're getting the students involved the community that's going to be down there is going to get involved it's just you know it's It'll be we're fun. We're football, but we're community. Right. Yeah, come on down. Well, and then after that, you know, we're going to do it for the first time this year is at the conclusion of the spring game for the families and for the players, we're going to have a big family cookout. Oh, cool. And, uh, you know, that way we get to mingle with the parents and some of the new recruits and just you know, hang out and enjoy uh, each other's company. And I told you in the past, some of the games, you know, that we did last year, some of the road games that were close enough I just drove myself to, I saw a bunch of the parents, and yeah. they were like, hey, watch the Coach Gary Goff show on YouTube <laughs> last week, and you guys are doing a great job, or this and that, you know, I'm listening to the game on the radio, and the parents of some, uh, you can really tell the character of some of the kids you're bringing in by the parents when you talk sure. to them, because some of these parents I've talked to, not only with your kids, but some of the other athletic uh, um, teams on the campus as well, it's just some awesome people. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, and that's part of recruiting. I mean, that's why we get into everybody's home for the home visit. Well, see, so you got to recruit the parents, don't you? Well, you got to recruit them, but you know, you learn a lot from going into somebody's home, not once, but twice, three mm -hmm. times, and, and see if, hey, how, do that, how does that young man treat his mother? Yeah. How does the father talk to the kid? I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that we look for, and uh, you know, we want the families involved. You know, and, and it only helps add to what we're trying to accomplish here. And, and every family I talk to, I tell them, hey, we want the same thing. And that's for your son to succeed. You that's know? April 20th, the third uh, annual flag football game, 10 a.m., spring game at 1 o'clock, and then all kinds of cool festivities during uh, and after the spring game. Coach, we only got a couple minutes left. We're both big Braves Atlanta Braves fans, fans absolutely. And the Atlanta <laughs> Braves are off to a great start. I brought up the Braves before the program, and you're like, well, I'm going to talk about that on the yeah, program. Yeah, no question. So, 
Braves off into a six and one start and uh, doing some really good things. They're going to be up in Detroit in a couple of weeks. So hopefully, uh, you're going to have your family there. And hopefully, I'm on mine. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to make it. I've got my son. He's hooked. He's a diehard Braves fan ever since we were on the field for batting practice a few years ago. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, me growing up outside of Atlanta, Absolutely. of course, I'm a diehard Braves fan and. Uh, you know, I have to give a shout out to the Indians fans around here. I mean, I am pulling for him because they got Michael Bourne. I mean, they, yeah, you know, I told all my player. I told all my Indian fans friends, you're going to really like him. He's a you're good player. Love him playing center field for you. I was worried at the start of the season. Uh, you know, I don't know about our outfield. All I heard is how great our outfield was. I believe it now with, the, Up- with the Upton brothers yes. and Hayward. I'm I'm fired up about the Braves right now. <laughs> my this first game of the season. It was uh, you know broadcast on the national network and. I'm a Braves fan because of Dale Murphy. When I was right. a young man, right. Dale, you know, Dale Murphy was my little baseball hero. Everybody's hero, hero yeah. And so watching that first game with Chipper Jones going out and throwing the ball, the initial, uh, the inaugural first pitch, and Dale Murphy being on the field. Yeah. If you had put John Smoltz out there, I'd have probably passed out and been in heaven. Those <laughs> were my three favorite Braves of all time. But it's it was so cool to see both Dale Murphy and Chipper Jones in the field at the same time. And, it is, and I love the fact that you're a Braves fan. It's so oh, cool for I, me to be able to I'm talk Braves I'm baseball. I'm a diehard too. Braves fan. I, hey, Terry Pendleton. Worth his weight in gold right now as a batting coach, mm-hmm. and um, I tell you what, uh, hey, our, our baseball team's been doing good too. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, yeah, excited Dragons about the playing. Dragons baseball. Mm-hmm. Coach Wilk is doing a great job over there, and they're fun to watch play too. The weather I hadn't been out there yet because you know it's hard to go watch in thirty degree weather. When oh, we also got a football <laughs> team got a coach here in the spring as well. But uh, hey, I'm going to get start getting out some of those games because the weather's getting nicer, and um, yeah, I'm a big baseball fan. And I can't get enough Braves, that's for sure. Absolutely, off to a great start, and uh, yeah, if you're not if you don't have a favorite team in baseball yet. Check out those Atlanta Braves. But uh, you spoke about the baseball team. Some of the other spring sports here going on at Tiffany University here in the last few seconds. we got uh, the women's lacrosse team has been on fire. Uh, Alexandra Quast uh, set national records all over the place. Track and field team putting up national yeah. numbers. People doing some great things. Softball team's doing well. Baseball team's doing well. Um, this men's tennis is, is off to a good start. So everybody's just doing some really good things well. here. I know um, lacrosse has a big game this Saturday night, the 13th? Yes, they do. This yes. Saturday night at home against Grand Valley. And uh, the football team will be out there to support them. But, you know, it should be a good turnout for them. I'm excited to watch them play because Allie works in our office. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we didn't know it until prior to the season that, you know, she's what, n- number one in the nation last year on, on scoring. And it was last week she had 20 goals in a game? Well, she had 20 points. She 20 had points, okay. 13 goals and seven assists in a wow. game. And when I talked to her coach, the first thing she talked about was seven assists. That's awesome. How cool is that? She's you know, a, you put up all those numbers, kid. the first thing you worry about is those assists you put yeah, out there. Yeah, nah, she's a good kid. No, nah, so you're right. All of our spring sports right now are doing a really good job, so uh, everybody needs to come out and support them and watch them. More information, www.gotiffindragons.com. More information on Tiffin University at www.tiffin.edu. Let's take our sponsors one more time. For tonight's program, those sponsors include CF Professionals Incorporated, Gary Gruce's office, the Ohio Mutual Insurance Group, Jim Kennedy's office, State Farm Insurance, Ed Lape's office, Steyer Seeds, Tiffin Ace Hardware and the Animal Hospital of Tiffin. Coach Goff, I think we're going to come back and do it on Monday, April 22nd to do a little review of the spring game and all the fun festivities we had and sure. talk about what the kids will be doing over the summer as we get ready for the start of football come next August. So, Coach Goff, thank you so much. It was a great time as always. Let's do it again in a couple weeks. Thanks, Russ. Looking this has been the Gary Goff Show on WTTF, Cool FM 93.3 and WTTF.com. Everybody have yourself a great night. Thank you.